Hi guys and girls and welcome back to the channel Retail Investing and Trading. In today's video we will talk about how you should never compare yourself to another trader and why that could be a very bad thing for your self-esteem as a trader. So stay tuned. And we are back. So if you're new here consider subscribing if you like our content. With that being said, guys, this video is going to be basically somehow like a rant because I'm going to talk about a few things that happened to me as a trader and uh, which which could be devastating if I stuck with them. So basically, and from from those experiences, I'm going to share a couple of things that you should never do as a trader because it could be really devastating for how well busy your self-esteem, uh, your future as a trader, etc., uh, etc. Et so where do I start? Basically, uh, as for entire last year, 2018, I was spending my year backtesting uh, harmonic patterns on a few of few of the pairs. My portfolio, my current trading portfolio, consists of um, Aussie CAD, USD CAD, Aussie CAD. Aussie dollar, euro dollar, pound dollar, and pound yen. On all of those six pairs, I'm trading bats and gartleys. And now, uh, by the end of, I believe, February or mid March, I'll be adding ciphers to the portfolio on all of them. I already did some of the back tests on on ciphers for some of the pairs. On some of them, they're profitable for me. On some of them, they're not. The thing is that also bats and gartleys are not hugely profitable for me on all of my six pairs that I'm trading. Which brings me to this today's topic. Because <clears throat> as I was finishing my backtesting and creating my you know system that w which I will use to go live and forward test my trading system and then slowly add more and more capital to it and uh, become a professional, consistently profitable trader, uh, I naturally started to comparing my system and comparing my trading with other members of a community that I'm part of. Uh, and some, some uh, young guy, Latch, his interview is also on this channel, said to me that he's actually his system is producing for him, uh, I think, I don't know, maybe 12,000 pips in a course of four years, which is what, maybe 3,000 pips per year. Yet, he backtested at that time smaller, you know, smaller amount of strategies uh, than I did, which made me think, yeah, wow, okay, so this guy is, you know, he backtested like, maybe half of the strategies, I don't know, or maybe let's say the same number, doesn't matter. And I backtested a, a little bit more. And in, in the time span, shorter time span, almost half of the short, you know, if, if I have a five year time span and my system is producing 7,000 pips, his system is producing uh, 12,000 pips in four years. Okay, you see the difference? It's huge. His results are double mine. And it, it kind of gets to you you know you kind of start start thinking okay is are my back testing results okay did i do any mistakes did i do anything wrong what are typical results for the harmonic patterns what could i do better you know and then you start start questioning yourself and you're trading <clears throat> and you're back testing and remember for the past year i didn't put a single live trade and then after a year of hard work, backtesting over 2,500 trades, 2,500 trades, I'm in the position where I'm questioning what I've been doing for the past year. Not to mention that two years prior to the last year, so 2017 and 2016, I was just blowing accounts all over the place. I was going nowhere, basically not going nowhere, learning, but going, you know, <laughs> I was in a bearish trend because I didn't improve. I, I was I wasn't improving as a trader. I was just jumping systems, and I was in a search for that shiny object, shiny system, shiny. I had this shiny object syndrome, believing that um, other people's systems 
are better than mine without actually backtesting my entire system. I was trying to be a scalper, scalping for 5 pips, for 3 pips with a stop loss of 20 pips more, without proper risk management, without proper money management, without anything in place. And then comes 2018, I joined a company, I started learning to trade, I started backtesting, and, yet, and after a year of hard work, I have a system that's not as good as somebody else's is. And as I said before, that got to me. I, 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 I had to repeat it because it, that can happen easily to you as well. And then I turned to my coaches and asked, hey, what's like normal return for bats? Like, what's the normal return per year for Gartlis or for Cyphers? And based on a specific pair, for example, on a euro dollar or a pound dollar or whatever. And answers from my coaches are sometimes, sometimes they piss me off. And you might ask why, because every time, you know, I, I'm sure that there are a lot of people asking how much money can you make, uh, how much, uh, you know, are, are you rich and all that stuff. And the thing is that uh, how much money can you make is totally and completely depend on you and on the money management. So, so a guy cannot answer you that question basically because nobody knows that question besides you. If you would to give him to give your coach, you know, your backtested system, then probably he can tell you, okay, man, if you put a fifty fifty thousand dollars or a five grand or a five hundred bucks in your system, uh, then your system obviously your backtesting results. If you try to mimic those trades that you were taking while you were backtesting candle by candle, then you can produce I don't know 30, 40 percent year over year return, which is awesome. And that's why nobody can give you answer to those questions. That's why I never got the answer to my question, which kind of bothered me at a time. And then I sat down and I said, okay, plus, plus, listen, I was building like so complicated system where I was, you know, having, I, I can trade Euro dollar from seven in the morning until 5 PM, but I can take longs. I can go long only between. I'm just this is just like an example, guys. From three in the mo or from seven in the morning until twelve in the morning, uh, and from there on, I can only be short. Then you have euro dollar Gartley. Then you separate Gartley and long and short. And you know, and back and forth, back and forth, I created an entire Excel spreadsheet. When can I go long? When can I go short? Etc. Etc. And then you know, it kind of. I was like, wow, man, you know, it, this is going to be hard to track. And, you know, my entire year is not, wow, I'm not going to be able to trade this properly. So I asked my coach and he said, man, I think this is a little bit too complicated. It, it's good enough if you think you'll be able to trade it well, like, like you said. And I'm going to show, I actually have another video on YouTube where you can easily see, where you can see my entire uh, backtested portfolio and my system where I show you my expectancy and what uh, my equity curve, uh, my results that my system is producing. And then I also show you this Excel spreadsheet that I initially created, but later I moved from it because it didn't make sense to me. And so to get back on are you bad trader uh, question, uh, it kind of after I got these answers from my coach regarding my system that it might be too complicated, I just simplified everything, and I got a system that I'm I'll be trading uh, from seven in the morning or six in the morning a.m. GMT time until six uh, five p.m. GMT time, which will produce me roughly around seven thousand pips in the time span of four to five years based of my back based on my backtesting results. Yet this system is not or is not as good as the other trader system yet because they might see they might take some trades that I might I might not etc etc. The whole point of this video is that you should never never compare your system if it's a back tested system if you, if it's a rule based back tested system with another trader system even if that trader is produce first first of all guys you never know what he or she back tested you never know those results that somebody compiled in in one you know file 
that he show that he or she shows off are actually relevant. You know, you never know did that person made some mistakes and now they're just flexing. You should never compare your results and yourself as a trader with anybody else. Okay? Because if you start comparing yourself and if you have if you have a results that might, you know, that are like slightly uh, worse than other traders, you might feel bad for yourself and you shouldn't because if you have a proven backtested system, just go out there and test it live. See for yourself. Be consistent. Be what you are. No trader is the same. There is no two. There are no two traders in the world that are trading the same way. Sure, some trades can uh, be the same for both of the traders. Some tra traders can have similar or the same rules. But I guarantee that if you sit, if you place two traders to sit one to another, one next to another, uh, throughout the entire year. There will not be, they will not take each and every trade the same way, even though they have some similarities in a system. With that being said, never compare yourself because that might be not, that might not be good for you. And just, you know, work your system out, stay away from the noise and yeah, be good and trade every day. Thank you and talk to you soon. Bye bye.